Hi, Sweet Costa Rica here. This video is about basic survival tools or gear for most outdoor situations, including emergencies. No one knows when a dangerous survival situation will happen to them. So you have to be ready at all times for anything. Always carry cutting tools, a fire kit, a water carrier, shelter, a first aid kit, and cordage. Here are the cutting tools that I use. Knife, saw, and axe. This is a Glock field knife and it's a very tough knife. I've seen it in destruction tests where it lasts quite a while. Uh, the sheath is so secure it would be hard to lose this knife. This is a German military knife. They've used it for over 40 years. I like it because it's a, it's a utility knife. The Germans didn't. The soldiers, they, they didn't like it because it was too utility, less uh, of a military knife, and uh, less pointy. This is a uh, Mora Bushcraft Black, but it's in a uh, secure sheath. Uh, they call it the tactical sheath. And that's one reason I like this, uh, this setup. This knife normally is a hundred and uh, about a hundred and fifty dollars, hundred and sixty. I bought it for seventy nine dollars on eBay. Uh, I don't suggest buying uh, knives for over a hundred dollars. There are so many good ones for less. In saws, you have a uh, Kershaw or a Laplander. Uh, many people love this uh, saw because it's uh, cheap. I mean, you can buy it for twenty dollars. And uh, also, Ray Mears used it or uses it in a lot of his uh, videos. And it's just basically a good saw. A better saw is the Silky saws. They are um, pull saws. They cut fast and smooth. And I, I think they're a good deal. For the if you like axes like I do, you can either go traditional with a wooden handled axe like this Husqvarna. And this axe came very sharp. And uh, it's a Swedish steel, so it should be pretty hard. Or you can go non-traditional with this Helco 2000 Tomahawk. Has a synthetic uh, fiber comp handle. You have to change, you can change the heads with a um, tool, five millimeter hex wrench. You can put uh, a heavier head on there, or you can put a splitting head on it. Makes it very multi-purpose. The best fiber comp axe in the world, in my opinion, is the Frisker's X-Series. It's agreed among experts that outdoors you need to carry at least three ways to make fire. A good start is a ferrocene rod, matches, or a cigarette lighter. And these fire methods should be kept in a fire kit that contains various tenders and tools for fire making. With water carriers, the world is your oyster. There are arctic canteens. There are canteens that are stainless steel with their own cup. There are also canteens that have filters in them. And you can also use just regular bottled water. But I recommend that you uh, get uh, soda bottles because they're tougher. If you're gonna go with plastic, Try to make sure that you have a stainless steel cup, like this one, so that you can boil your water in it. Here's my favorite setup, a plastic water bottle, a stainless steel cup, and a cover. Perfect. Cover. For cover, I like the Mylar blankets that you see everywhere. They're inexpensive, easy to get. An even better choice in Mylar is the Heat Sheet Survival Blanket by SOL. It's tougher, and uh, SOL, if you're wondering, means survive outdoors longer. Another choice that people use for emergency cover is 55 gallon drum liners. This one's three mils thick. Uh, these are really good and easy to carry. My favorite 
is the Swiss Army vinyl um, poncho. It's very, keeps you dry, really dry, and uh, it's surplus gear, so it's in inexpensive. The majority of people who die from outdoor, in outdoor survival situations, they die from hyper or hypothermia. It's so it's, it's really important to have some type of cover with you to keep your core body temperature as close to normal as possible. Having a good first aid kit is common knowledge, but please make sure you have a good antiseptic like iodine or chlorohexidine gluconate. And make sure that you keep any open wound disinfected, case in point. In cordage, here are my three favorites. And depending on what you're doing, I recommend carrying 50 to 100 feet of it. This is jute twine. This is great twine and also excellent fire starter. Highly recommend. This is nylon twine. Here's tarred and braided nylon twine, uh, also called bank line. This is size 60 and that is uh, large. This is a uh, strong, strong cordage. It's called mule tape. It's, uh, it's great for putting up a hammock. I don't have 550 cord here. I just don't use it that much.